That night, I stood in front of my closet, trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear to this party. Leo texted me the address not too long ago. So when did you get his number? You literally just met this guy and now he's got your n- Oh my god. Why are we going so fast? Isn't it chapter one? No, I'm sorry, this is chapter two now. Leo was kind, very kind. He helped me with Jackson. Now that I'm thinking about him, I can't believe what happened between us. Y'all smell that? What? Smells like a cheesy ass plot line. <laughs> I pulled out my favorite red dress and heels and put them on. They're gonna be perfect for this party. I decided to wear that over the purple dress that my mom gave me. <laughs> oh no! That purple one, what is that? It's a balloon for my kid's birthday party after you deflate it. <laughs> In jail! <laughs> Be right back going to Pinterest. I mean, the red dress is fine, but for a high school party? Who are you lying to? That dress is not fine at all. As I put the final touches to my hair, I realized I was missing something. I was missing a uh, a uh, hundred years pass, and my brother and I discovered the new avatar, an airbender named Aang. And although his airbending skills are great, he still has a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone. <laughs> oh my god! It never fails! <laughs> I figured out what I was missing. A golden bracelet that Leo gave me. I put it on, and then I left to go to the party. He gave you a bracelet?! Wait a minute, did we miss a few chapters? Okay guys, she's on her way to the party. Now, I know the plot looks a little rocky, but I promise it's getting there. Also, can you guys please stop with the Avatar references? I know why I may be a little silly, but I believe Aang can save the world. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> stop! <laughs> Before I left to go to the party, I decided to make a last minute change. Quick little author's note guys, I decided to change her dress into the purple one because I just think she looks cute in it. Definitely a much better pick than the red one. Pardon? Don't tell me you're joking! That dress is a hate crime to the third degree. I swear to god my two-year-old cousin has it in her closet right this second. At Sophia the first, hey yo, this your dress? <laughs> Not Sophia. When I arrive at Leo's mansion- Mansion? This guy is rich? Wait a minute, what chapter are we on? Uh, apparently this is chapter two, did we miss a chapter? Guess not. I hesitate before knocking on the door. Do I- do I really want to do this? No. No. Hell no. Absolutely not. I smoothed out my dress and then knocked on the door. I can definitely do this. The door opened and there was Leo. Hey, you made it! Wow, you look perfect. Really? Yeah, like a perfect, perfect piece of purple aluminum foil. <laughs> no, for real, because who is he lying to? There's nothing perfect about that dress, burn it! You're just in time. The party's in full swing. Come in! I walked in and looked around at the party. The music was loud and it was very crowded. To my surprise, I didn't see Jackson. Pause. Who's Jackson again? Oh, I got you. That's the dinosaur that escaped from Jurassic Park. And who's Leo? Leo's the Teen Wolf wannabe because he was howling in the last chapter, remember? Okay, got it. Teen Wolf wannabe, escaped dinosaur, and a pterodactyl Walmart fairy. Cool. <laughs> Y'all going to hell. Hey, you thirsty? I'm pretty thirsty. What do you drink? Oh, I like to drink cactus juice. It'll quench ya. Nothing's quenchier. It's the quenchiest. Oh my god, I'm dying. Y'all play too much. Why did I see that coming? <laughs> Ridiculous. An hour passed and I found myself having a lot of fun at this party. Later, I told Leo I was going to use the bathroom and I slipped away. When I get to the hallway where the bathroom was, I saw a girl around my age. She was sitting in a chair with her head hung low. Who that lady over there in the chair? What fucking lady? Ain't no lady in here. <laughs> I stepped closer and I saw it was one of the popular girls that make fun of me at school. She was beautiful. She had red hair and brown orbs. Her makeup was perfect. Her lipstick was the color of fire. She stood up and eyed me up and down. Hmm, so you're the girl that Leo keeps talking about. I stay away from him, you know. He's got secrets. Not the Dollar Tree version of Cheryl Blossom thinking that she can have an attitude. She's a pretty popular girl. What did you expect? Hold on, is this a Riverdale fanfic? Secrets? Like, like what? Wancho asked a teacher that he got fired because they hung out after school one too many times. Whoa! Roses are red, cacti are prickly, holy shit that escalated quickly. Oh good god, this is a Riverdale fanfic. At the official Archie Andrews, hey yo, this you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, reporting this whole account, be right back. I watched as she stepped closer to me and asked me, Where'd you get your dress? The trash. <laughs> Stop! My mother gave it to me. Mother? 
Let me tell you something about mothers. My own mother thought I was a monster. She was right, of course, but it still hurt. <laughs> I swear to God, you're gonna get blocked. My own mother told me anything I want, I can have, and what I want is Leo, so stay out of my way. <laughs> what? Why would she want someone who slept with his teacher? She then slapped me and I fell to the floor. <gasps> the floor! First the locker, then the stairs. Now the floor! Justice for all. This isn't fair.